the Duchess of Sussex, who revealed she is six months pregnant, cradled her growing baby bump alongside her husband the Duke of Sussex as they met with members of organizations supporting women in vulnerable situations and a center for young people in Birkenhead. Meghan, 37 was showered with gifts of flowers from adoring royal fans and spent time shaking their hands of those who had gathered to see a glimpse of the golden couple in Hamilton Square. Merseyside. Dressed in a striking purple dress from Aritzia's Bulletin collection and a stylish red coat by Centella, the expectant mother could not resist letting out intimate details of her pregnancy. Quizzed by the excited youngsters, Meghan revealed she had no plans to find out the gender of her first chid and wants the moment to remain a surprise. Kitty Dudley, 9, from St Anne's Catholic Primary School, said after meeting the couple, I asked her if she was having a girl or a boy and she said she didn't know. However Meghan sent to the well-wishers into frenzy by confirming to them she is six months pregnant and revealed her due date is at the end of April, or even the very beginning of May. This means the newborn and seventh in line to the throne could be born on April 21 sharing a birthday with its great-grandmother the Queen. The news has alerted the bookmakers who have made the birth on the Queen's birthday a 12-1 shot. Meanwhile Meghan giving birth on Prince Louis birthday April 23rd is at 14-1 odds. Alex Aparty of Ladbrokes said, Meghan's latest comments have forced us into action and while we're convinced it'll be an early April baby, there's every chance the latest royal will share a birthday with his great nan. Baby Sussex could also share a birthday with cousin Princess Charlotte, 3, if Meghan gives birth on May 2nd. Meghan and Harry were paying their respects to acclaimed First World War poet Wilfred Owen by viewing a sculpture in the town marking the 100th anniversary of his death. The bronze artwork by sculptor Jim Whelan has been named after Owen's poem Futility and shows an exhausted solider sat down with his head in his hands. Their visit was welcomed by Frank Field, Birkenhead's MP, who said he had invited the couple to his constituency, with the planned day reflecting their interests, allowing them to get a real feel for the area's people. Mr Field said, the two faces of Britain are here in Birkenhead, they are walking through the Alice in Wonderland door and visiting the other part of Britain, and they wanted to. On the poet Mr Field added, he's the most important person for shaping our memory of war, it's fitting the town should have a statue that sets new standards in sculpture. Meghan has a busy schedule ahead despite being heavily pregnant, on Wednesday, she is set to visit animal charity Mayhew, one of her new royal patronages which were announced last week. In the evening the pair will attend the premiere of Cirque du Soul's Totem at the Royal Albert Hall. The event will be in aid of Harry's charity St Baal, which works to help children affected by HIV in Lesotho and Botswana.